This is a true story. Hello and welcome to my Easter vacation. For the first time I'll spend it in Trondheim instead of Oslo. Well, the plan changes, but pretend you don't know that yet. And why do I feel the need to make a video about it and share it with you guys? Well, first of all, I really like to make videos. Secondly, I tend to be a better version of myself while living inside of these uh, documentaries. I tend to be more productive, more creative, faster, stronger, bigger penis. Okay, maybe not all of those, but for example, after a previous video I made, some of my friends remarked that my room can't possibly be this tidy all the time. They know me and they're absolutely right. However, part of the secret is also to hide all my mess in a corner that's not visible on the screen. You did not see that. Everyone knows that a spectacular vacation starts with good food. So today I'm making tomato soup with sausages. Let's do this. Yeah, pretty good. One of the missions of this vacation is to finish the YouTube version of Nablarvin 2017, which is a show with the musical and comedy elements put up by about 70 students, physics and mathematics students from NTNU. It's a huge job, but fortunately we're not just one person working on this, we're actually twice as many. As you probably can see, there's been some changes to the plan. I was invited by my grandparents to spend Easter with them at their cabin. Uh, so I took the train this morning, it was uh, a few hours south of Trondheim. I actually forgot my own sunglasses and in order not to uh, go snow blind, I got to borrow some spare ones that my grandmother had lying around. This will be my room for the next uh, days. It's uh, pretty nice and pretty cozy. I'm having another uh, reconnaissance trip. Uh, the sun set uh, a quarter ago or something. Uh, and tomorrow it's actually Easter Eve, if, uh, if that's the right name for it. And I'm gonna try cross-country skiing for the first time in probably at least five years. So that's gonna be quite an adventure. Uh, now I'm just enjoying the landscape here. You can have a look around. So right now I'm actually holding onto some metal tripod. Uh, I forgot my gloves, so I'm pretty cold at my hands, so I think I'll stop filming now, probably. Ah, this place is great. But uh, I have to keep up the old tradition of watching some British crime on TV during Easter. So now I'm heading back. See you guys. I'm out in the ski tracks, finally. Uh, my technique's a bit rusty, but it's going forward at least. The track that I'm going in today is mostly upward from the cabin. Uh, so it's a tough ride up, but then I can just race down in uh, 15 minutes or so when I'm at the top. So in case I run out of food or water or the weather changes, uh, I always have that uh, safety option. Uh, it's like if the, if the Apollo astronauts always had the option of teleporting back to Earth. Uh, it would be much, much easier to plan the mission. But I guess it also would make sense to build a rocket if they had that technology. So just have to pick up my ski. What, what are these called in English, by the way? Here we have the valley where I came from. So yeah, you can see it's only been upwards until now. I also saw some like rabbit tracks down there. So we yeah, do have some animals up here. The track's not that great everywhere. You can't be that picky about everything, I guess. So yeah, I mean, the nature was there before we got there, so we, we can't really complain. Here we have my skis. They're actually my, uh, my dad's, but they were just left at the, at the cabin. And his the shoes also fit me. So yeah, we actually have some clouds covering the sun. I should probably head back, it's gonna be much, much colder. I made it to my destination. This is the view I'm enjoying right now. And uh, actually on my way up here, uh, many of you uh, sent me in questions asked me what I'm wearing and what I'm bringing for such a trip. Uh, I'm just gonna go through the questions here quickly. Let's see, yeah, the first one is uh, about what I'm wearing. And I have two layers of wool here, as well as this uh, old weather jacket, which protects against the uh, wind, uh, rain, uh, polar bear attacks and trolls as well. And what I'm bringing, uh, I have my, my backpack here. I have uh, like my camera here, 
uh, my, some extra pair of gloves because it's really it really sucks to be cold on your hands. An extra lens, uh, tele lens, uh, some chocolate uh, food as well here, and yeah, some GoPro mounts and extra batteries up here. And uh, yeah, I have a few maps here actually. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat my uh, eat my lunch here. It's dinner in one and a half hour actually, but I just yeah, I need to get some food right now. As you probably know, food is always better when you eat it outside. Uh, and especially with a view like this. You can't enjoy it now, but you can enjoy uh, this view perhaps. It's, uh, yeah, I think it's a bit better actually, to be quite honest with you. Down there in the valley, there's a quarry where some of the rocks and stone that's used in Nidarosdomen, the cathedral in Trondheim, were brought from. So this guy just uh, gave up, it seems. So remember, that don't be too harsh on yourself, because even buildings can give up. This has all been really fun, but it's just an hour left for dinner, and I don't want to race dangerously dangerously fast down, so I, I think I'll have to get going now. Yeah, I'll just leave the camera here so you can, you can see, enjoy the view a bit more. So just to give you an impression of the, of the landscape here, I just want to take a sweep, sweep around here. So as you can see, it's not uh, it's not really the most dramatic mountains you can see here. It's not like the Alps or uh, like Jotunheimen in Norway or something like that. It it has like a calm atmosphere. You can really feel one with the mountains here and just be be yourself 100%. So far, so good. Maybe I'll just add some music here. That was a controlled fall. I made it back in one piece and uh, yeah as you can see this is the face of a Norwegian who just uh, rediscovered skiing. I've had a great day so long and it's uh, just 10 minutes left for dinner so it's uh, it's really perfect. I found this uh, cabin journal where everybody who stays at this cabin uh, writes down about their activities. Uh, so I, I spent my very first uh, birthday here in the summer of 94 uh, and yeah in the Easter of 2004 or something we built a snow cave uh, that was large enough for the whole family, so on the very last evening here we just had some soup there all together. And uh, yeah, just refreshing up on these memories have been, uh, it's, it's a good read, you should probably, it's not on Goodreads I think, but uh, it's, it's a very good book, you should probably buy it if you find it somewhere. It's a new day and new adventures await. Uh, yesterday I used up all the storage space on my GoPro, which means I'll be relying on my Canon from now on. Uh, so from now the cinematography will be a bit less mobile, but hopefully more elegant. So come join me on this adventure. I suddenly stumbled upon this uh, hut or cabin. Uh, it's a great place, it, it has these uh, grass roofs which I really like. Uh, I'm gonna have my lunch now, so yeah, I'm gonna fill this uh, bad boy up and keep, uh, keep going. <laughs> Wait, are you, did you film this? I thought we had an agreement on this, come on. Today's word of wisdom is don't break your legs, break chocolate. Yesterday I went up here into the mountains. We have the main road going here. The cabin is around here. And today I just walked into here and then I started skiing around this track here. Took a detour and I'm somewhere in this area now, I think. And I'm very glad for this because now I'm enjoying this amazing view up here. You can always find a fresh source of water while in the mountains. So now I'm just gonna fill this up with pure and clean and awesome melting water. How am I gonna do this? 
Actually, I think I have to find somewhere else. This won't work. The cabin was actually open, so I just went inside there to have a look. Uh, there are some beds here, there, are some, there is a table, uh, you can make food here actually. So it's great if it's a snowstorm and you're surprised and you just have to find some shelter. I have to admit that these roofs are actually pretty convenient. Just imagine that you're having some sheep over, you've forgotten to buy some grass, and then you can just go and, yeah, just have a bite of our roof. And they'll be like, yeah, sure, that works. It's official, I'm outside of civilization. I could not manage to send a text message. I think my grandparents are starting to worry about where I might be. So I should probably head back. I had to thank this wonderful cabin for hosting me. It's been a great honor. I hope I can return the favor someday. Maybe have this cabin come over to my place, spend an hour there. Here we have another one of those uh, collapsed uh, snow bridges. So I'll have to cross further down there. You can see someone else has, uh, has gone there before, so it should still be safe. The crossing went great, and I think I finally found a place to fill some water. Cheers. It uh, started uh, snowing uh, a little bit just a while ago. After spending almost six hours in the skiing tracks today, I'm glad to be almost finally back. For the past hour or two, it's been more and more obvious that I should have brought more food or perhaps returned earlier. Immediately upon return, I realized I should have brought some sun protection with me. I feel kind of red, kind of burned, barbecued, grilled tanned the parrot has ceased to be don't be bothered by this uh, i'm just gonna leave it be uh, i don't care while i'm here because it's not like anybody's gonna see me right uh, except for maybe you guys it's still an important a really important part of my character development we're almost ready to go uh, we're packing everything into the car we've cleaned the cabin and today we'll drive to Ørlandet, which is where my grandparents live it's right across the fjord from trondheim so i'll spend the night there and I'll take the boat back to Trondheim on Tuesday. Today it's Monday, it's the very last day of the Easter vacation, so I'll have an extra day off, but it's okay, I'll catch up. I'm now at Ørlande, which means either Erland or Disneyland. Damn, I just can't seem to remember the brand of my camera. I'm pretty sure I'm on a boat. That's all folks. With 120 gigabytes of raw footage, I'm now all set to start the post-production. I've had a lot of fun making this video so far, and hopefully you've had some fun watching it too. I hope it's been somewhat entertaining at least. And after these days of intense recreation, including three whole days without internet, I'm all set and relaxed to start the exam period. I hope I don't have to repeat the procedure from last year. More about that little adventure you can find in this video. I hope I can get this link to work. If not, I'll put the link in the description. And uh, yeah, thanks for tagging along. If you have any uh, feedback, any ideas for new videos, you can leave a comment in the section below. So thanks for watching and ha det bra!